Mini Kelly 2 or Kelly to go? Let's have a chat. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. So recently a friend asked me about the differences between the Mini Kelly 2 and the Kelly to go. You may be thinking about one or the other. So I just wanted to talk a bit about both of these. I'm going to go through the sizes of these two. I'm going to talk about what fits and I'm going to talk about the scenarios whereby I might use this one or use this one. So in terms of measurements this one is lengthwise 19 centimeters and this one is 20.5 centimeters so it's approximately just a one centimeter longer in terms of the width they are both actually five centimeters at the widest point so here it's five centimeters and for this one if you stretch it out it actually can go up to five centimeters and as you can see this one kind of narrows towards the top becoming about two centimeters and if I compare that to the Kelly to go actually a part of the narrowest spots are also about two centimeters so in terms of width they're almost exactly the same except that one is inverted so this one you can expand a bit along the top but because this one narrows and is generally salier this one is going to be narrower at the top and this one will be wider at the top if that kind of makes sense in terms of height this one is 12 centimeters centimeters and this one is 11 centimeters so I would say the measurements they are fairly similar this one being just one and a half centimeters longer and the mini Kelly just being about one centimeters higher than the Kelly to go the strap drop now the mini Kelly from the top here all the way to about this part is about 48 centimeters and if I compare that to the Kelly to go if I put the strap at the longest setting is actually 52 centimeters and so this one is approximately four centimeters longer in terms of the strap drop and what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to show some modeling shots of both of these bags side by side on me so keep in mind I'm approximately 163 centimeters or approximately 5'4 medium build so I'm going to show a picture of them side by side and as you can see if I do crossbody the mini Kelly will hit me a lot higher than say the Kelly to go but I would say that they are both kind of doable to be honest I do prefer it if the Kelly to go was slightly longer like the Kelly to go because if in the winter time you're wearing sweaters or a jacket it's just that much easier to get over and if you've seen one of my recent YouTube shorts I actually attached this chain to here it's about five centimeters and it just makes it the perfect length to be approximately the same as the Kelly to go so I'll also put pictures of me attaching this chain and you can see how the strap drop looks with the chain attached and I do prefer it with this kind of chain attachment of course if you only wear it as a shoulder bag definitely this will be a bit too long whereas this one would be the perfect length on me having said that the Kelly to go the strap can be kind of tucked inside as you can see here I have kind of crisscrossed it inside kind of like any kind of a walk and it has the extra flexibility to be carried like this so it's kind of like a shorter shoulder carry and you can see that there is definitely ample space so if you're wearing a sweater or if you're wearing a jacket this would definitely not get in the way and of course both of these do have a detachable strap so you have the option to just use this as a wallet or in this case as a top handle bag but of course you can also kind of use this as a top handle bag by tying a twilly at the top so you can see I have fed the twilly through the two hooks on this side and braided it and you can make this top handle as tight or as loose as you like as you can see here mine's a bit loose so I can pretty much fit my hand through that if I really wanted to and for this one I can't really put my hand through it if I wanted to it is very tight I could if I forced it but it's probably not going to be very comfortable so in terms of top handle this one is more rigid and if you really wanted a top handle you could tie a twilly on this of course this is going to definitely look a lot more formal looking and this one is going to be definitely more casual looking.
So you may wonder, can I just kind of tie it crisscross on the inside like the Kelly to go? I did try that, but it does get really bulky and there is not a lot of space to come out of here. So in general, it's not a very pretty look. So I would only use this either with the strap or as a top handle, whereas with the Kelly to go, I can use it as a shoulder bag. I can use it as a top handle. And if I crisscross the straps inside, I can also use it as a short shoulder strap. So let's talk about what fits and in general I find that they fit approximately the same surprisingly. So the only difference I found was that in general the walk it's kind of easier to see everything because when you open your Kelly to go basically you just see everything inside. So if you need to grab cards or cash, you can basically just open it wide, grab what you want. It could be a card or cash or coins or anything. And I don't have a card holder in this because I'm treating it like a wallet. And it's just really easy to take things out, put them back in and basically close it just like that. I never use the sangles on this. It's way too much work to put these on. However, if I wanted the look of the sangles on it, I could definitely tie that all up to look like this. But generally, I just have them tucked underneath and they don't bother me. And the access is just quite easy. I just twist the knob and open and basically you have a pretty good top view of everything that you can take in and out of this bag and then close the bag like so. So let me share with you what I have in here. So I have an Hermes lipstick here. I have two bulky items including this Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and I also have my AirPods in an AirPods case. So that is slightly a bit thicker than the regular AirPods. Of course, if you really wanted to make it slim, you could use the wired headsets. That would work also. And then as you can see, I have my cash there and I would say I have about a dozen cards in here and then I just have my key in the zippered pocket. I could put my cards inside the slots however I find it a bit cumbersome. There are about four slots here but because it's really easy for me to access my cards I can just basically just open that up, look for the card I want, take it out and then use it and then just slip it back in the back here. So really easy access, can see everything at a glance. So now let's transfer everything to the Mini Kelly and obviously because it's not so easy to see everything at a glance inside this bag and because the opening does not open as wide, definitely to stay organized, I would put my cards in this card holder. So you can see I have cards on one side and the bills folded on the other. Because the bills are folded in the card holder, if I had to grab bills, it's a bit more cumbersome because they are definitely filled. And so I'll put that inside like that. And then of course, let's put what I had in my wallet on chain. So I also had a pack of tissues. I have my AirPod case, my hand sanitizer. And because it is already getting a little tight, I'm going to lay that along the top. And finally, my lipstick. And again, I could probably put this perpendicularly, but I think just to keep it kind of not too stuffed, I'm going to lay this horizontally along the top. And definitely, this will close like that. So the drawback on this one is that if I had to get any cash or cards or anything like that from here after opening the bag, I probably need to remove items from the top before I can access my card holder. And when I access my card holder, you'll see that everything inside has kind of toppled over. So once I'm done paying, I may need to do a bit more Tetris on the inside to organize the bag so that everything fits before I can close the bag. So now everything is in there, but as you can see, I had to shuffle things around a bit. I had to take things out of my card holder, pay, and then put it back in the bag. So it is a kind of like an extra couple of steps in order to go in and out of the bag. So let's talk a bit about the scenarios whereby I would use either of these bags. I would say I tend to use this a bit more. And the reason being, I generally wear a tote to work and I will just throw this in my tote. And if I'm going 
going out for a quick coffee or lunch or if I need to go to a conference I will just take this out and carry this out and then throw it back in my tote when I'm done whereas with this one this one is definitely a lot more formal looking and I probably wouldn't use this as casually because it is a formal looking bag and generally I don't see this as something I would throw into a tote to allow it to kind of rumble around in a large tote bag just because there is a top handle and in general I find this more of a dainty and slightly more fragile bag although they're both really well made and they're both in Epsom however I find that you probably want to baby this a little bit more instead of just tossing something into a tote. I tend to wear this one when I'm a bit more polished or well dressed. I think that the fact that it has a top handle makes it a dressier bag although definitely you can wear this dressed up or dressed down whereas with this one this one looks just more like a wallet so it's definitely more casual looking although I can probably definitely wear this to a dinner if I wanted to and if I wanted to look really fancy I could probably also remove the straps. I do find that this is definitely more carefree whereas with this one I'm a bit more careful with. I'll be honest that I also really like the strap drop on this one a lot more than this one. If you're someone who likes to cross body bags I find the length of this better. A short term solution it's the bag strap that I have been talking about. This is an aftermarket strap but you can find other straps on the market. This is about five centimeters but I like this one because the class on this one is matching exactly with this one because the hook on this one would be smaller than say a Kelly 25 or 28 bag. The clasps on those ones are a lot larger so this one was kind of made to match the size of the mini Kelly clasps and so that just makes it more seamless. In terms of traveling I also kind of prefer this one more. It's a bit more underrated and I have the flexibility to throw this in a backpack or a tote if I needed to whereas with this one one I also can use as a crossbody but it's not flexible enough that I would want to throw this in a larger tote or backpack but in terms of dressiness and looks definitely this one does look really nice especially with the top handle and it just looks a lot more formal for those dressier occasions if I needed it to be dressy whereas with this one it's definitely a lot more casual looking and sometimes there are occasions where I don't always want to look so dressy and I just want to be more underrated and casual I will wear this one. So if you're considering to get the Mini Kelly but you find that it's hard to get and you kind of want to experience the capacity and the uses for it you could consider getting the Kelly to go. This is a great alternative. It's not really the same thing because this one is definitely more formal looking but if you want to get a general idea of what fits and what kind of uses you can get out of something with a similar size and look this is is really good. Also sometimes it's really hard to get a mini Kelly at the shop so this is also a great alternative for someone who is waiting for their mini Kelly but wants something in the meantime to play with. I did initially get the Kelly to go before getting the mini Kelly but surprisingly for me I tend to use this one a lot more just because it's more carefree and casual and I can use it within other bags without being too anxious of it getting squished or whatnot. In terms of capacity they're almost literally the same. Also really love that I don't have to play as much Tetris with this one. Basically I just open, take what I need and close it up whereas with this one as you can see I had to put a lot more effort into Tetrising the items once I had taken something out and to put back in but in terms of looks definitely this one totally wins out. So I hope this video helps you out in case you're considering either the Kelly to go or the Mini Kelly. I think they're both a wonderful bags but if you're considering to get one or the other just because one is harder to get, actually they're both hard to get, or one is more expensive than the other, you can get a general sense and idea on the similarities and the differences between the two and hopefully I provided enough information to help you make 
an informed decision or to give you ideas on how you can use one or the other. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you haven't already, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm also quite active on my Instagram channel, so you can follow me on Instagram. I will put my account somewhere down here. I wish you a fabulous day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now.